The Daytona 500 is upon us. On February 18th, the large field of cars spanning from Chevys to Fords to Toyotas will take to the track in a 500 mile race for dominance. Only one car will come out on top. This is the Great American Race, the Daytona 500, and this is the unofficial entry list for this race. Starcom Racing is a small team. They made their debut last year. But now they're going to be going full time in the NASCAR Cup Series. Their driver is Jeffrey Earnhardt. This will be the 40th year that an Earnhardt will be in the field. Jamie McMurray won the Daytona 500 in 2010. He is looking to go back to victory lane for Chip Ganassi Racing at Daytona in the new Chevrolet Camaro. Brad Keselowski has won at both plate tracks before, but he has yet to win a Daytona 500. Could this be the year? This year, he will have Discount Tire on as a primary sponsor for the 500. Austin Dillon started on the pole position back in 2014 for the Daytona 500, and last year he broke through and got his first career win at the Coke 600. Can he possibly go back? to victory lane at Daytona. Kevin Harvick won this race in 2007 in a nail-biting conclusion where his now teammate Clint Boyer slid across the line on his roof. Now he is in the number four. Can he possibly go back to victory lane? Trevor Bain has only one race win under his belt in the Cup Series and that is the 2011 Daytona 500 with the Wood Brothers, pulling off the biggest upset in modern history. Can he possibly go back to victory lane and have it at the same race he won years ago? It was announced during Homestead that Danica Patrick would be done with full-time racing, but she planned on making the Daytona 500 and the Indy 500. This is the first of the Danica Double for 2018. Chase Elliott came so close to winning races in 2016 and 17. He started on pole at the Daytona 500 two times in a row, 2016 and 2017. Can he pull, possibly pull off the same magic and even win the 500 in the number 9 car? Eric Almirola replaces Danica Patrick in the number 10 Ford for Stuart Haas Racing. He won the Coke 0400 back in 2014 in a rained out race. Can he go back to victory lane in the Daytona 500? Coming out of 2017, Denny Hamlin was as disliked as his own teammate Kyle Busch. And that's probably going to continue for at least another season. But he has won at this track before, in the now closest finish in NASCAR history. Ryan Blaney won the summer Pocono race in a nail-biting finish between Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch. Now he is in official Penske equipment in the number 12 Menards car. Ty Dillon will be returning to the number 13 Chevy of Germain Racing in 2018. Clint Boyer had a decent year in 2017 albeit no win and no playoff berth, but he was up front fighting for the win at several races. Could he possibly win at the Daytona 500? Well, just over 10 years ago now, he was sliding across the finish line on his route. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was no doubt the talk of the town last year, winning not only his first career race at Talladega in the summer, but his second career race later on during the summer at Daytona, showing that he and Roush Fenway Racing are plate track masters along with Penske. Could he possibly pull off an upset and win the Daytona 500? Last year, Kyle Busch won a stage at the Daytona 500, but then wrecked out due to the Goodyear tires not holding air that well. He was known as Crybaby Kyle from that point on, getting in fist fights and all that. But he is also yet to win a Daytona 500. Could this be the year? 
this race last year, Daniel Suarez was a rookie and was wrecking out of the Daytona 500. By the end of the year, though, he showed potential of winning his first career race. Could he possibly win the Daytona 500 in another major upset? Eric Jones almost won the Bristol Night Race and did good at both the Daytona races and Talladega races. Now he is in the he is in official Joe Gibbs equipment in the number 20 car, replacing Matt Kenseth, a former winner at this track. Can he possibly win it here? Paul Menard has been known to be pretty smart at times, coming through and winning the 2011 been Brickyard 400. Could he possibly pull off another upset and win the Daytona 500? Joey Logano won the Daytona 500 in 2015, and in 2017 he had an abysmal season with one encumbered win and no entrance into the playoffs. He is looking to turn that around with a beautiful 2018 season, and what better way to start it off? with a Daytona 500 trophy. William Byron replaces Chase Elliott in the 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports and he is also your defending Xfinity Series champion. Could he possibly win the Daytona 500? Ryan Newman won this race now 10 years ago and in 2017 he went back to victory lane in the Summer Phoenix race. but. Other than that, nothing really good came from 2017. Could he turn that around in 2018? Matt DiBenedetto has shown his genius at both plate tracks with a top 10 at the Daytona 500 last year. Could he possibly pull off the what might become the biggest upset of the modern era and win the Daytona 500 for Go Fast Racing? Michael McDowell will make his start in the Daytona 500 in the 34 Ford for Front Row Motorsports, also known as the Daytona and Talladega Masters. Chris Buescher will return to the number 37 Chevy for JTG Daughtery Racing, now sponsored by Kroger officially. David Reagan has been impressive at the plate tracks in the past, but can he win the Daytona 500? Kurt Busch comes into the 60th as your defending Daytona 500 winner, and possibly his last season, but that's just a rumor for now. Can he possibly go back to back? Kyle Larson was just a few laps away from winning the 2017 Daytona 500 and just a few races away from winning the, the 2017 championship, but engine problems happened. Now he is looking for the Daytona 500 win and a championship. In a bombshell move, Richard Petty Racing moves to Chevy, but in a not so bombshell move, Daryl Wallace Jr. replaces Eric Almirola in the number 43 Chevy car. AJ Allmendinger is not just a road course dream, but he is also a pretty dang good play track racer, and he can be secretly at the front of the pack. But can he win? What many people don't know about Jimmy Johnson is that he has won at least one Daytona 500. Yes, he's been bad in recent years, but he has won here before in the 500. Could he possibly start off his road to 8 in a Daytona 500 win? Justin Marks is expected to run the Chevrolet Camaro for Rick Ware Racing, the number 51 car. Brennan Gaughan is expected to return to the number 62 for one last time in the NASCAR Cup Series. Martin Truex Jr. had a standout season in 2017, being your defending Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion, and has come close to winning a Daytona 500 twice so far, 
but can this be the year he breaks through? Once Dale Earnhardt Jr. announced his retirement, it was almost certain that Alex Bowman would replace him, and Hendrick only made that official months and months after that. But he can he win? David Gillen will drive the number 92 Ford for Ricky Benton Racing. Casey Kane will return to the Cup Series in the number 95 for Levine Family Racing, booting out Michael McDowell. This car is a pretty good play track team. DJ Kennington had a pretty decent 500 run last year and is looking to return to capitalize on that. He will be driving the number 96 Toyota for the Gaunt Brothers. And there you have it. The approximate entry list for the 60th running of the Daytona 500. This was really fun to make, and sadly, it is not planning on being included in the 9 Days of Daytona series. This will be its own video, its own entity. But I hope you guys enjoy. This list will probably change as we get closer to the 500. Like I said, well, I didn't say it, but the... 51 car was actually added onto the roster the day I made this video and edited it together. So that was kind of a thing. But after this, once this video is done editing, there it is not going to be edited any further. If a new car enters, it will not be in this video. So, But I will edit the description of the video as new cars are announced, numbers and stuff, and drivers. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a great video to make, and I will see you for the day one of the nine days of Daytona.